Tonight in a developing story, it is still unclear if the body of a female found in Vacaville is that of Sandra Koch. She is the federal investigator who has not been seen since Sunday. This is video from our helicopter partnership with ABC7. It shows the rural area where investigators found a woman's body today. Crown Force J.R. Stone is live there tonight. J.R., you've been there on the scene all day long. What are the investigators saying tonight? Well, Pam, here we are five hours later, and those investigators are still not saying much. But what we can tell you is that the coroner's office from Alameda County has arrived within the last 15 minutes. But you can see this road is still closed off to the public because investigators are still on scene. We can confirm that a body has been located. Uh, the body is of a female. But as of right now, the body found in this wooded Vacaville area just off of I-80 has not been identified. Crews were searching for federal investigator Sandra Koch, who has been missing since Sunday evening. We are waiting official confirmation on the identity of the, of the body. And then after that, the, the next process will be to notify the next can. The location where the female's body was found is actually the second area to be searched. Prior to that, dozens had canvassed the Solano County Fairgrounds in Vallejo. Vacaville, though, is hardly a random location. Family members of Sandra Koch told Cronfor earlier this week that Sandra's daughter grew worried when her mom didn't come home. She went to track her mom's phone online, and at one point, the GPS showed that it was in Vacaville. It's unclear if investigators were working off that information or additional clues. It was an area that was uh, specific in our search scope that we determined while still in Vallejo. So it was in the scope of our search. Randy Alana is the person of interest in the case, a man who had dated Coke more than 20 years ago, but had been in and out of jail since that time. The two were actually seen together Sunday night. Alana, though, is now behind bars on a parole violation, and an unidentified female's body has now been found. And back out here live, you can see that this roadway is still closed off to the public. As for how long this is going to take to identify the female body that was found, it's unclear because at this point, it's unclear how long that body has been there. Reporting live in Vacaville, J.R. Stone, Cron 4 News. And continuing our team coverage, the lack of identification of that body found in Vacaville has the family and the friends of Sandra Koch on edge. Crown Force Philippe Jugal is live at Sandra Koch's home in Oakland. Philippe, what are you hearing from family there? Well, Pam, the people we've spoken with are uh, fearing the worst at this point. We've been outside of Sandra Koch's home for close to four hours now. It's the green home to my right and to your left. And those family, uh, no family members have actually shown up. But we did see a group of friends walk up just about 20, 25 minutes ago. But they're asking for their privacy, saying that this is a difficult situation. We did, however, speak with some neighbors earlier on, some of them who helped post up some of these missing persons flyers around the neighborhood hoping for a positive outcome from her disappearance. But tonight, after hearing news that a woman's body has been found in Vacaville, the optimism is fading. In fact, one neighbor is now talking about Sandra Koch in the past tense. She seemed like a good person. Um, I always saw her, you know, going to work and just... She seemed like a nice person and I always, um, I always saw her walking her dog. It's sad, very sad. Um, when I heard today what happened, how they found a body, of course it could possibly be her and I actually cried. And another woman who actually didn't want to go on camera, she started to break down when I started to talk to her just a little while earlier. So obviously this story is touching this neighborhood. We're also told that Sandra Koch lived with her daughter in this home, but we have not seen her here tonight. And again, friends who walked up to the home just a few minutes ago are asking for their privacy. Live in Oakland tonight, Philippe Jigal, Cron 4 News. More on this story now. The search for Sandra Cook has been centered in several cities around the East Bay. Crown Force Charles Clifford shows us how the mystery has unfolded. 
This is an overhead Google Earth view of North Oakland. Sandra Koch's home is here along Eileen Street. Now, she was last seen around 8.30 p.m. on Sunday evening when she told her daughter that she was going out for about half an hour, but she never returned. A day later on Monday around 7.45 p.m., Oakland police found her car parked here along 32nd Street. Now, she also had two cell phones with her at the time, and one of those phones, an iPhone, was found about nine miles to the north here in Richmond along Interstate 80 at the McDonald exit. Then on Thursday evening, the Oakland Police Department announced that they were sending search and rescue teams even further north to Vallejo, and they plan to search Lake Chabot, which is here near the intersection of Highway 37 and Interstate 80, right next to Six Flags. They searched the lake and the surrounding area Thursday night and then also on Friday morning. And then around noon on Friday, the Oakland Police Department, along with the Solano County Sheriff's Department, said that they were going even further north, about 19 miles to the north, to Vacaville, where they were going to search the Lagoon Valley Park, which is right here. And then around 2.30 on Friday afternoon, it was announced that they had found the body of a woman here on the west side of the freeway. In the newsroom, Charles Clifford, Cron 4 News.